while it is saving what we want to do we want to create an interesting uh, place where the collision will happen so it will be here so let's create a box and highlight it here and embed the mountain so this is our box so bring it all the way here and we make it bigger down we we'll rotate it to match let's take it to the inside and a little bit here and make it even smaller let's go up so this is where we want our high resolution to happen okay. after that uh, we will add uh, a second uh, flip container so flip container and we will connect it to the box that we created so it's still running okay We need uh, a flip collide node. Let's add it here, and we will use that mountain, which is here. Let's add it here. So this is our mountain. Next, we'll add a flip solver. Second one. Give it a second. This one we'll call it high res. And it's starting from 95. Same as the previous one. And the important step, as you remember, the fourth one, we use it for a boundary flow when we added more additional velocity. But in this case, we will use the output of the low res simulation this one okay so let's connect it and we start to have something next step we'll go to the flip container and here list um, let's add point uh, oh two five give it a second and then we copy that parameter we go to the high resolution solver in the step and we need to activate the particle separation so it will match right click past copy expression Not COVID, one second. Should be past uh, relative, this one. Because I have a shortcut for them. I rarely use this right click. So now we have the same reading. Let's go one frame. let it sim for a while let me create a cache file cache and this we will call high res cache and save save to disk so as you can see created like 3 million particle on the area that we defined and slowly it's being included in the simulation 
see how dense this area is compared to the area here this area okay so we'll just give it more time I did little bit of changes, I make it uh, shallow, not very deep and I make it smaller and I lower the resolution so I can have a quick result so I'm in the 1 million now instead of 4 and 5 million so it is a little bit faster so as you can see more detailed waves I'm waiting when the boat uh, make a quick turn and see the splash in real how massive and strong it will be so I'll wait for that frame to come yeah, up to now we are like this in this phase be cut by the container boundary maybe I should rotate it a little bit anyway it's okay So here it is with the lower is and the higher is merged together. Okay, let's see from another view. Imagine if you go even lower and this is how it look let's uh, render the frame out see our result okay. I'll just add a mountain here to this one some colors so material let's go to the material palette and here is the exam Here, 
take this one out and for the boat where is the boat material let's add it here so we have it back and let's create material for the water basic fluid where is the fluid so basic liquid let's go here let's, let's merge this one and this one together shift R and this one disconnect let's add the material I added the wrong one material add basic liquid one here and one here let's go out save and it will create environment light let's choose this map and uh, in the out let's add karma fire it let me increase the lighting of the environment one let's add here three Now the only thing I need to do is to mesh this area. So let's go to the boat. I'll take these down. VDB from fluid. Let's go with the Lores one. Just give it a second. focus on it and particle separation let's make it 0.5 let me delete it and uh, fluid particle surface so I will dilate and erode Voxel size and make it 55 influence of 2 and in the region where is the region use bounding box close boundary let me open it to cut all the area below as the, the way with extended ocean bounding box flatting outside bounding box give it a second and resolution the water level Keep on freezing. Let's move it. it manual. Let's go here. So we have something for resolution adaptive 
Let's close boundary. Threading distance, let's say 100. Something. Let me go to last frame and see. So this is the result. Anyway, I will look at it uh, deeply more. But at the same time, let me try to do the high resolution one. Let's view it. This one, add it here. Because with more resolution, the better the machine will be. So I, that's why I'm expecting my lores will look awful. See, by default setting, it's looking. I see how ugly is this one. If I view both of them. see the difference. Let me cancel both of these for now. You see the difference in the resolution between this and this. It's ugly. This one is nice. So let's go to the camera. Maybe I'll create another camera just to focus. material so here is one of the frames you see the high resolution with white water it will be looking even much nicer let's choose another frame and see 